The first item on the agenda this evening is audience communications. I do not have any blue slips from anybody in the audience that wishes to address the board at this time. Do you wish to address the board at this time? Yes. Up here at the podium, sir. We could have your name and address. I do. I come as an antagonist to this this kind of proceedings that you guys put, which I think is a big farce. You do ceremonial things when you should be doing the business of the school district. The ceremonial should be taken over at some other time in a more appropriate fashion, not at the board meeting. Your, your focus should be on student achievement and the cost of running this school district. You are completely incompetent to do that. All right. Okay, Mr. That's including sir. the superintendent. You need to hire professionals. Sir, I didn't, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry. Could I have your name, please? I'll give it. Please don't interrupt me while I, my chain of thought. Okay. Uh, I like to speak my piece. You guys waste all this time with the ceremonial stuff, which you can take over at some other time. Not in a get the input from the people who are paying your salaries and the teachers' salaries, the taxpayers. What input do you get in this meeting from the taxpayers as to what is going wrong with the district? What's the achievement level? Since five years, give me the comparison of Churchill, Stevenson, and Franklin compared to Catholic Central and Ladywood as to student achievements. Would you like to do that? Actually, sir, you need to address me. I'm the president of the board. If I'm you'd sorry. like to address me, that would well, be fine. Yeah. I'd just like to see the comparison and put it in one of the newsletters that you sent, you know, the LPS newsletter to the taxpayers. We do have district annual reports that are done annually. I'd just like you to cut. The, to me, the Catholic schools are run professionally. This, this group is a hodgepodge of housewives, ex-teachers, so forth. We want professionals to run our school. So what you should best do is to hire a professional company, like maybe the Catholic educational system, to run this, this, to direct the district. And then you oversee the contracts with them. OK, that's one. Next thing is to make community, our high schools community centers to get more focus on school, you could be, become revenue enhancements. You could have uh, the cafeteria used for birthdays, uh, weddings, uh, graduations, increase revenue. The citizens can use the shops and all the other equipment and get additional revenue. OK? It's our property. It's not your property, the school board, or it's not the students. It's our property. So what, what have you got a right to say that we can't use it? As a board of education, we are elected by the citizens that reside within the Livonia Public Schools boundaries. And those citizens reside in the city of Livonia and some in the city of Westland. Yeah. And we are elected officials by our constituents. I know what you are. Okay. So well, you asked the question, and I'd really like to address you by name, but I haven't received your name yet. So I, I can't address you properly, and I'm, I apologize for that. Walter is my name. The last name's Walter? Walter. Okay. And so, Walter, if that I'll is. I'll give you my name later, uh, full uh, name, okay? That's, a, that's not significant. Okay. What I'm saying is, I think it's significant. So the community center is one thing. Now you guys just don't have the guts to realize that we don't need all the school districts that we have right now. Are you so talking in the state of Michigan? Sickening. All right. The same with our our municipalities. You know how many municipalities we have in in, in Western Way, uh, Detroit? Over thirty. But that, the, the number of school districts in the people, state of Michigan and the municipalities the would be something you would address the to the state legislators. The courage to say, we don't need all these school districts. We don't need all these municipalities. Actually, Let's revise and get into regions. We could probably have two districts west of Detroit, from downriver all the way up to uh, Northville, have two school districts. And, and there are people. Has that ever been brought up? Of course the it has been brought up. If you would contact your state legislatures, or the senators, or the, uh, the reps. Have you guys talked talk to them? 
Absolutely. In uh, fact, uh, on a regular basis, we do. Like communication that you sent to the legislature? Uh, actually, on our website, we do. And we actually had um, the four um, reps, senators, and representatives that represent our Livonia Public School District at a meeting recently. I believe it was in January or February we had a meeting with them. But, sir, we, we allow for three minutes for audience communications at the beginning of our meeting. Let me show you what, just, just an illustration of how the school boards are so incompetent and irrelevant. But, sir, one, really, sir, your concerns need to be... Once Sir, One. your concerns really need to be addressed at the state level. All of the items that you have mentioned are something that you would that, that regard the state, whether it's the number no, of school districts or municipalities, that would be addressed at the state level. With the school district. And we, the sir, your time is up this, this evening to okay. address us. We the do school? have certain amount of time that we allow for the audience right. to address In us. Let the superintendent show it. What's happened to the school? Five years ago, compared to now, as to student achievement and outcomes, all right, and compare that then with Ladywood and Catholic Central. Well, I'm and then sure I, our I think it'll illustrate the the uh, needlessness of having having you guys around. You just oversee higher professionals to run our school. You guys are none of you are professional, and I doubt sometimes the superintendent. Well, the superintendent does have a doctorate right. degree, and I'm going to hire you to run my company. And sir, 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 you have to relax. Yes, Dr. Leopold. Sir, you have to relax so we can hear you. Yeah, thank you. And okay, we are going to move on to our business of the eating, which meeting, which is the committee of the whole. Learn something tonight, sir. If you would, taxpayer, taxpayer, this. This could be. Yes. You got that, thank you. Well, is there any other speaker? 